Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today I would like to tell you about a great new technique for corneal transplantation. This is called pre-decimase endothelial keratoplasty or PDEK. Now this was uh, recently published in next month's British Journal of Ophthalmology by Dr. Amar Agarwal and what it is is a new way to do inner layer corneal transplantation. Now currently the two primary ways that this is performed are DSEC, decimase stripping endothelial keratoplasty, and DMEC or decimase membrane endothelial keratoplasty. Now if you look back to a state of site number 26 it compares these two techniques to show the differences in between them but basically with DMEC uh, patients now have been shown to end up with better vision after this type of transplant. But the problem is that this decimase membrane that's in the very inner layer, the back part of the cornea, is very thin and it can be a difficult procedure because this tissue will naturally curl up on itself. It can be more difficult to get it to open and uh, go into the right place inside the eye. So, based off findings that were reported last year when Professor Dua from England discovered the new sixth layer of the cornea called Dua's layer, he had suggested that this layer could help support a inner layer corneal transplant if it was included with the graft. So, uh, with these uh, thoughts and findings, then a uh, very great surgeon, Dr. Agarwal, went ahead and harvested corneal tissue that included also this duas layer. And so he termed this the pre-decimase endothelial keratoplasty because another name for the duas layer is a pre-decimase layer, which means that this layer is just in front of the decimase membrane. Now with this, it makes the graft or the transplant more easy to handle. It keeps it from curling on itself quite as much and it can be easier to put into the eye and um, easier to stabilize inside the eye. Uh, with this, he published five patients where he used this great new technique and it looks like they uh, have great results so far. So in the long run, this may also offer the potential for better vision for the patients and it may be a uh, easier and more repeatable technique for the surgeons than DMEC. Now, uh, with time, we hope to see that eye banks uh, can start to provide tissue for the surgeons using this technique, and then it can become more widely available as it's used more and studied more. Uh, so if you have any questions about this uh, exciting new technique, please post. We'll be happy to answer them, and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.